incredibly flavorful meat. That is really good. I'm gonna poke one of these uh, rice cakes along with it. What I really love is that undertone of spices on that meat. Oh man, that's wonderful. What's up everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Jakarta, Indonesia. And one of the types of sate that is very, very popular in Indonesia, and it's actually from Padang, is called sate Padang. And it is really famous to eat in Jakarta as well and there are, there's kind of a, a very strong following of the dish. I am in South Jakarta right now at a place called Sate Padang Ajo Ramon. And this is one of the premier ultimate places for Sate Padang in Jakarta. It's kind of a neighborhood area, a really nice area actually of Jakarta with nice trees. And then it's a market. And they set up in the corner of the market and this is a a huge street food establishment. They have a giant tent going on and about 20 different communal tables here. So it's a really popular big place. Sate Padang, which is from Padang in Sumatra, is a unique style of sate. And I believe that most of it is beef and they, I think that they boil the beef and then they skewer it and they mix it with spices and then they grill it. But the really unique thing that sets it apart from other types of sate in Indonesia is the sauce. So after the skewers are finished grilling, then they're put on a plate and they are just covered in a really thick brown gravy sauce, just actually submerged in the sauce. It is also served with some rice cakes, which are sliced up on the bottom there, and then all the sate are placed on the plate and then a handful of crispy shallots, fried shallots are then topped. I think they're fried shallots at least. And sometimes you think of sate as just a snack or a, a small side dish, but sate padang is known as being an, a full main dish because it includes the meat, it includes rice cakes, and the gravy is also very thick and very hearty. I got two different types of skewers. I think that the smaller ones are the tongue and I know that tongue is very popular for sate padang, beef tongue, and then the others I got five skewers of just regular beef. So I'm gonna try, let me have one of these regular beef ones and make sure I got a bunch of crispy shallots on top and I'm gonna add some more gravy. All right, that should be good. That is a seriously goopy sauce. smell a little bit of a curry powder aroma to it and then also those crispy shallots are always aromatic. I think that was the tongue. Is that the tongue or the beef? As you chew that meat you can really taste the blend of spices. Maybe some cumin, maybe I don't know what else, but you can really taste the blend of spices, which is is really um, within the meat. And then that sauce, the brown gravy, it's it's salty and it has a little bit of a curry flavor, but not very strong, but it's a really hearty sauce. And I think it's made from rice flour. It's almost like a, a liquid rice. I think that may have been the tongue that I first tried. So now I'll try one of these other ones and get as much sauce on it as possible. Oh yeah. What I love is that the flavor of the spices is embedded into that meat. And that was definitely the meat one. The first one was the tongue for sure. Just check out this skewer of meat. You can actually see the spice blend on the inside of that. It's like, it's really flavorful, spicious, and salted nicely. And then the brown gravy is just sort of a, an extra added flavor and texture to add to the incredibly flavorful meat. That is really good. I'm gonna poke one of these uh, rice cakes along with it. They have a big basket here full of 
this looks like crispy, maybe crispy cow skin. I actually am not sure, and then chips. And what I see people do is they grab one of these bags and they, they use it to scoop up that extra brown sauce. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of skin. I would guess it to be cow skin deep fried to puffy crispiness. And yeah, so what people are doing is they're, dip, they're scooping up that sauce. Oh man, that is a goopy, delicious gravy. That is definitely deep fried animal skin of some kind. That chip just literally dissolves in your mouth, but it's crispy at the same time, incredibly crispy. And then with that brown gravy, gravy dipping sauce, that's delicious. I'm down to my final sate and I saved one of the tongue skewers for my final bite. Definitely the tongue is the best stick. Oh wait, that was not tongue, that was the meat one. Oh man, I missed, I finished all my, my tongue skewers, I guess. Oh man, okay, but the beef is good too. The gravy is good, but the actual spices and spiciousness of the marinated beef and marinated tongue is what really came through nicely. And even the flavor of the meat came through the gravy. And then the gravy was sort of a mild, addition and texture to the whole dish. That was delicious. I would definitely not rate Sate Padang as being the most beautiful looking dish, but where it wins is flavor. The flavor was awesome. It was marvelously flavorful and delicious. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also click subscribe for more food videos. And I will see you for the next food video.